Well, I thought Kevin pitched pretty well uh, tonight. I mean, definitely pitched well enough to keep his team in the ball game, which he did. The first inning certainly did not start off the way he wanted to. That leadoff walk to Carrera and then Donaldson it, jumping on that inside fastball to get the uh, Blue Jays up two runs. You know, that, that is not the way you want to start a ball game. I think the first inning has been giving Kevin Gosman a problem all year long. But he settled down, you know, and uh, kind of kept his team in there. There was just never the big hit to try to get the momentum back on the Orioles' side. And Kevin did all he could, really, to keep his team in it. But uh, the offense didn't show up tonight against Sanchez. Uh, Mike, Aaron Sanchez tonight, he seemed like he had the book uh, on the Orioles' batters. He got ahead of them very easily with by mixing his pitches. And he used uh, their weakness, which is swinging at high fastballs all night long. He was pretty darn good out there tonight at exploiting the Orioles lineup. Well, you got that right. He had a great game plan. The ability to get ahead with different pitches, I think, was the key, like you said, Rick. You know, and then he just expanded the perimeter of the strike zone. Take a look at this. Every strikeout you're going to see, I don't really think there's one in the zone. Maybe that one borderline. Davis had a couple arguments with some strike calls, but working away, trying to get the swings, a lot of high fastball swings. See uh, Jonathan Scope swinging there, Adam Jones chasing above, Scope a couple times, but the high fastball was a killer for this Orioles offense. You know, sometimes you just have to expand a little bit, and I think the umpire was giving the strike, so are making it a little bit bigger. So uh, you have to understand who's working behind the plate, but they could not get on the pitches from Sanchez. A lot of life at the top of the strike zone with that big fastball. It's the only the one earned run given up, six strong innings pitch for Sanchez. He's had himself a phenomenal year and uh, found a way to really turn it around here in September against the Orioles. He's had a couple rough starts. I thought the Orioles might have a chance to get to him, but he didn't let up. Mike, let me ask you a little bit about the, the whole Chris Davis ejection and all. What, what were your thoughts on that, the frustration and all? Well, I think Chris was a little frustrated at the uh, his uh, the strike zone that was being called on him. Now, Chris very rarely gets upset. Well, here it is, the end of the season, last week of the season, and finally the emotions of this whole season starting to come together, and he probably just said uh, the wrong thing, maybe one or two words that you weren't supposed to say to an umpire. And uh, I think when Buck Showalter came out after the ejection, he said, listen, Chris Davis does not get ejected. That's not part of his game plan. Probably just making a point that he wasn't with the happy of the way you were calling the ball game and then Buck I think said one or two bad words as well to the umpire and got him tossed as well Davis never argues with umpires and when I looked at the at the pitches I didn't think they were that bad for Davis he just wasn't seeing the ball as well tonight 